There are a ton of different types of wings out there. Some of them happen to be better than others, at least in my opinion. But barbecue wings are pretty damn hard to beat. Now I've met some people before that actually don't like barbecue and it makes total sense. It's got that smokiness, a little bit tangy. It's a very unique flavor, but most people I've met love barbecue. And when you coat some crispy chicken wings in barbecue sauce, there aren't many things in this world that I think can make you that happy. Now, I'm not going to rehash whether or not I think a drum is a wing, because it is. And I feel like I've explained enough times that this bulbous shape of the drum allows for a much better wing. Look, you have all this space around it to make it nice and crispy, and you keep that inside nice and juicy and moist. You can't do that on a flat. If anyone can make a flat that is dripping of juice in the dead center, I will not speak of this again. But for now, let's just enjoy some good food and sit back and make some barbecue chicken wings. We'll start this out with my signature way to make really good wings. Drop your drums into a glass bowl. I'm then gonna cover this with some pickle juice, which as you know, is quite acidic and packs a ton of delicious pickle flavor. And who doesn't love a couple pickles on your fried chicken sandwich? So why not add pickle to the brine? And then I'll cover this with about the same amount of buttermilk, which again is very acidic and breaks down that protein in your chicken drums to make for some really damn good wings. Move these around a little bit just to get them really nice and coated. Then make sure they're fully submerged and leave these for about a half an hour to just break down and brine. They'll get all that delicious flavor. And trust me, this step is well worth it. While our chicken brines, let's make our barbecue sauce. We'll start with a whole stick of butter. Turn this up to medium heat and let the butter melt down a tiny bit. This is not a traditional ingredient in barbecue sauce, but if you're making homemade wings, this is the way to go. Trust me. To my butter, I'll add about two cups of homemade ketchup. Yeah, this is homemade ketchup. Everything homemade here. About a quarter cup of brown sugar, a half cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, a tiny splash of Worcestershire sauce. The day somebody figures out how to pronounce this, I will be a happy man. A little squeeze of lemon juice and optionally a tiny dollop of hot sauce. You can also add just a tiny bit of smoked paprika for that smoky flavor. To really nail that smoky flavor, I'll add a little bit of hickory smoke into my smoking gun, light it up with a torch, and then add a bunch of smoke into my pan until I can close the lid and trap the smoke inside. I'll let this smoke for just a minute to really impart that smoky flavor. Now we're cooking like a pro. I'll remove my lid, whisking and stirring this over high heat until it's boiled down to the proper consistency of barbecue sauce. No matter what type they are, you know I always make my wings crispy. I'm gonna start with a big heap of potato starch. As always, this fries way better than all-purpose flour. Don't you dare use all-purpose flour to fry. If you do, shame on you. It's simply not crispy. Into this, I'll add a generous amount of garlic powder, a good few splashes of onion powder, maybe just a little bit of Old Bay to mix it up, a tiny bit of lemon pepper, and a good little sprinkle of truffle salt. Now, you know the drill. Mini whisk this up. It doesn't matter if you have a big whisk or a small whisk. Both of them get the job done. Once this chicken has really had some good time to brine, shake off the excess liquid and drop it into here. Now we'll shake this up. And then again, lightly tap off the excess. This chicken drum is ready to fry. I know it seems surprising, but I can smell all the pickle coming off of this. The pickle juice really seasons these so incredibly well. And I'm telling you that if you try this method that I'm teaching you one time, you'll never do it differently again. When my oil reaches 375 Fahrenheit, I'll remove my lid. I got some fresh frying oil in here today and I'm feeling pretty excited about it. I'll then slowly drop my chicken wings into the frying oil. These will fry to five to seven minutes until they're just about fully cooked. I always double fry my chicken wings. So this is just the first of two steps. We'll toss in our wings for another couple minutes till they're golden brown. This is our second fry. Make sure to cover it up, it'll get crackly. Now, I just wanna quickly say that this right here is the true definition of ultimate crisp. Things cannot possibly get crispier than this right here. While your wings are still nice and hot, dump them out onto a tray, preferably a wire wrap, which will allow for proper cooling and not allow the moisture under the wings to get them soggy. Now, immediately, your first instinct should be to hit these with a little bit more salt. This will adhere to the edges of the chicken while it's still got a little oil and give them that perfect season. Next, let's toss these crispy bad boys into a big glass bowl. We're then gonna coat them all over with that beautiful barbecue sauce. Then, as always, you know the drill. Shake them up and don't be afraid to get messy. Like I always say, this is what cooking is all about. Well, everybody, this is it. This is the wing we've all been waiting for. All of them are just so gorgeous in their own ways. But first, the crunch test. Oh my God. Best wings by a mile so far. I believe we've just broken, shattered the crunch test. 
It has tang and has a pop. It's got that delicious buttery flavor that why wouldn't you want butter in barbecue sauce? It just makes it even better. And can you see how juicy this is on the inside? Quite honestly, my mind is blown. And I'm gonna double fist these barbecue wings till the day I die. Sometimes I say things and I immediately regret them. But seriously, go make some homemade barbecue wings. Drums, flats, wings, whatever. I don't care. Just make this barbecue sauce and put it on anything. Please like, subscribe, do these small little things that help me keep pushing out these amazing videos for you guys. And I love that you're enjoying them. So thank Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm doing a huge giveaway soon on YouTube to thank you all for your support. Peace out.